Kiss 95.1. Jenny, welcome back on the Mania Roy and the Red Morning Show. Hi. We also have Luke. Welcome back to the Mania Roy and the Red Morning Show. Jenny and Luke from War of the Roses on... December 9th, 2021, we had you guys on. Loren, do you remember that? Jenny found a necklace that said Brianna that she thought was a gift for her. We found out that Luke had a child that he just found out about and that the necklace was his first gift to her. You guys have since met Brianna, have you not, Jenny? Yes, we've met her and oh my gosh, she was so cute and it was just it filled my heart to see Luke with her and see them playing. Um, the only thing, though, honestly, was, like, his ex was, like, I don't know if she just, like, wasn't thrilled that I was there, but she was kind of, like, rude. Like, she, like, right off the bat, like, insulted my outfit, like, randomly. Uh, but, uh, I mean, it's not about her. And, like, her child is having, is going to have an extra person to love her and care about her. And, and that's all that matters. So, that's good Whatever. because th- there was a lot of speculation amongst the fans of the show that this was a lie and this wasn't really happening. But you Luke can't had a mistress. Yeah. He made up the child. But you can confirm there's a child. You're now helping out in parenting and everything's great. Yeah, it, it was so great. I it was really. We felt like a family, like a weird family, but still like a little family. It was it was really. Really wonderful. Wow. Luke, how do you feel about this? I mean, you were afraid to tell Jenny. How many months did you hide the fact that you had a child from her? Uh, it was really only about a month and a half. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was, I mean, for me, it feels like a weight, you know, off my shoulders. And to see how well it went is, like, kind of that second. It was great to tell her and for her to know, but then to, like, for it to go well was the real test, I guess. Yeah. Um. And so it was just, it was, it was really cool. I mean, I get, I definitely get what she's saying about my ex. That's why we broke up. She's not the nicest person. Uh, but, you know, it's not going to stop us from being involved in her life, uh, my kid's life. So, good for you. Uh, it was really, really good. Luke, can I ask you, so you kept it a secret for a month and a half. Did, how long were you planning on keeping this a secret? Because you bought, you know, a, a gift. Yeah. You, I mean, when, were you planning on telling yeah. in a months down or? Yeah, yeah. I mean, my, I would say my, um, like, I, I always knew I was going to tell tell her because I feel like, you know, we're like a long-term thing for sure. Um, I always knew I was going to tell her. I think for me, the main struggle was like, that was like obviously right before the holidays. Mm-hmm. Um, and so just trying to kind of figure out if that was the right time or if I should get through Christmas and, and all the kind of holiday stuff before I told her, but it was never a doubt I was going to tell her. And it was never really going to be that much longer. It was kind of the holidays. Okay. Well, there you have it. Happy Jenny, happy Luke, happy Brianna. Brianna enjoyed being around you, Jenny? I think so. I, I felt like we really bonded. She's so cute. And What is she, four, you guys said? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Awesome. Well, congratulations, Good. you guys. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you. All right. Keep us updated with your whole family unit <laughs> uh, uh, life, okay? All right. Thanks. All right. The MRL Morning Show on demand. Amy Ryan, Lorraine Morning Show. All the hits, Kiss 95-1. So that War of the Roses, we can officially close the book on Jenny and Luke from December 9th. The follow-up just happened. It's clearly he wasn't lying. He was telling the truth. 828 says, Heather from Hickory says, sorry I called him a cheater. (laughs) (laughs) You're not alone. We also got one from 704 that said, ugh. I'm happy, but also mad because I was wrong. <laughs> 90 texted in and said, uh, love War of the Roses with follow-ups. You should do more. We try to, but it's not always easy to get the people back on the phone again. You know, you guys get to hear something, but it's traumatic for a lot of people. You know? It is a traumatic. And yeah. a lot of times, this doesn't end well. And so, who wants to come back on the air when it ends horribly? Right. So, uh, it, yeah. I will say, during the break, I ran into someone who was on War of the Roses. Oh, that's always weird. Yeah, I was at a restaurant in Waverly, and they came up and they were like, Hey, Manny, I just wanted to say thank you. I was like, Oh, you're welcome. Wait, for what? <laughs> like, you helped me bust uh, my husband years ago. And I was like, Oh, we don't even like doing marriages. Oh, marriages. Yeah. But she said she's happy. She was actually there with her new man. Oh, so, good.